Welcome back to this series of videos me and Jake have been producing on steel conduit. In previous videos, we looked at the conduit bending machine, boxes, fixings, threading, cutting, and bending steel conduit. And at the end of the last video, I set you yet another challenge. And what is that challenge? Yep, Gary, you sent me the challenge of doing a double set like the one you're holding there. So that's what we're gonna do with this video. We're gonna do a double set and it's gonna be 50 millimeters off the surface. So I've got an off cut of conduit here. I'm gonna do a double set in this. I'm going to mark my first, the measurement to my first bend, which is going to be 150 mil from this end. Is that a crucial measurement or is that just one you've chose? No, that's not crucial. That's just one I'm going with yet. So the first bend will start 150 mil from the end of the conduit. And of course, because it's a double set, you would think that would be 245 degrees, but often we don't pull them to 45 the first one, do we? No, I'm going to aim for around 30 degrees. Okay, so let's see where you set that into the conduit bending machine. So under the stop. And that line needs to be there. Okay, let's have a look. So, ah, so it's at the, the first part of the former, because again, it isn't a crucial measurement. That's right. Okay, so we'd obviously be cutting and threading that in the future. So pull this one now, not to 45, to about 30. Yep. I'm quite happy with that. Okay, I'm stick that's with good. that. Yeah. Now we need a straight edge, don't we? That's right. So I'm going to measure 50 mil from the edge of this table. So the bottom edge there of the table to the bottom of the conduit is going to be 50 mil. And I'll check it at this end again. Ah, uh, yeah, that's always crucial because obviously you could dip down, which it did do, didn't it? So we're 50 there, and come back to the first one. So that's going to be a 50 yeah. mil set. And then I'm going to strike a line here as it comes off. That just moves slightly. So we're going to strike a line where the table returns. So if we yep. bend it back there, you would think that would be set at 50 mil. Yep. So it's crucial now, obviously, where we put that line in relationship to so the former. Back under. That bend is now pointing up towards the ceiling. Okay. And then I mark in relationship to our former, yeah? Yeah, so it's important that this line is running along the edge of this former here in that direction. Ah, so where it clashes with the former? Yeah. So if we bend it back there, yeah, that's according perfect. to the, the table perfect. measurement, that should be at 50 mil. It's also very important to make sure that this line is running straight. We don't want to finish this double bend and realize it's twisted. Okay, so you're gonna just, just line that up. Okay. Yep. You happy with that one? I'm happy with that, yep. Okay, so Mark's in the right position, let's just check it again. So if I can come in and have a look at that mark. Yeah, bang against the former. And now you've got to pull these two parallel with each other, haven't That's you? That's right, yep. So again, a little bit of care, take your time to do so. We're looking for parallel with each other. I think that needs just a touch more. Is it best to be under than over? It is, yeah. So that looks pretty good, so we'll take that out and have a look. So back over, reverse the process. So which one are we setting now? There's two bends. Which one do you set into the correct position? Yeah. So I'm going to set the first bend, so I'll check that is 50 Cause millimetres. Because we were happy with that one. So what people tend to do is, is do that second bend in the right position. That's right, yeah. Okay, so you're setting that back to 50 mil. Yep, so we ah, can see. Yeah, that you need a little bit more bend. Yep. Can you do it now where you actually set the second bend in the right position, see what people do as a mistake? So if you set the second one running against the table for me. Yep. So you run the second one in the correct position. Oh, so you've bent the first one too much. Yeah, no, that's not right, Gary. No. What we need to do is just put a bit more on this second bend. As you said earlier, the first bend will correct. Yeah, first one was correct, yep. so we've got to go a little bit more. And, and that's often what people do wrong. They think, oh, because I've bent the second piece, I'm checking that. The first bit was in the correct position, you need a little bit more bend. So again, we'll see whether you can feather that one in. And it's best, best to have a couple of three attempts now, isn't That's it? Right, yeah. You're trying to do it, than overdo it. So again, measure 50 millimetres. So you now got to check that's running. Yep, so it's still slightly out as well, Gary, so it needs a touch more. Yeah, not a lot, but is your set at 50? You're confident you're gonna be there? Yeah, I'm confident I'm gonna get there, so it really does just need that little touch now. Which is what we would call the weight of your arm, just yep. a little bit, just feel it go. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Moment of truth then. So we set the first one again because we knew that was correct. It was always the bend that was fine. First was correct. 
So fifty. We're we looking for. There we go. It's running that parallel with that. To me. Right, well, I'm going to need to see that fifty mil nice and close. You want to put it on the end for us? Yeah, that's bang on. So that set is at fifty mil using that technique. He's pretty good, isn't he? So he's done a set there for us, a set dimension of 50 mil. He's also shown us in the previous video how to bend exact measurement, but I always like to leave you with a little bit of a challenge for the next video. I'd like you in the next video to bend a piece of conduit as well as put a set into it at a given dimension, Jake. If you've got anything else you wanna see in this series of videos, make sure you leave them in the comments below and Jake, as always, will be answering all of them.